Hi, good evening. I'm Dan Soderberg. I'm uh, the uh, <clears throat> interim chairman of the Neighborhood Historic Preservation Coalition. As, uh, a group of uh, organizations that include uh, historical societies and community groups. Uh, some 14, some 14 of us, including I'm just going to name a few: the La Jolla Historical Society, uh, Save Our Heritage Organization, University Heights Community Development Corporation, and the University Heights Historical Society. So, just to mention a few, we're going to be very much opposed to the demolition of this building. Um, I posted pictures of uh, this building this morning on, on Facebook and almost instantly there was a, a buzz and a whirl of uh, comments about it and I'd just like to read you some of these comments. Uh, Jeff Daly said, if it's historic landmark building, how can a demolition permit be approved? Um, Kristen Miller Aliotti said, thanks for posting this, it's a great building. The county put a lot of money into it just a while ago. What craziness. I hope it won't happen. Uh, Stefani Stevenson wrote, this is a sweet building. I bet some artists and craftspeople would love to work in it. Uh, John Rippo replied, well, someone should tell Art Walk. They're headquartered there. So that's one reason why a lot of people love this building. Uh, Ron May wrote, as a county employee, I helped process the environmental document to preserve this building. Wayne Donaldson, who is now the State Historic Preservation Officer of California, did the architecture work, and he should be contacted immediately about this outrageous plan. So that gives you a sample of uh, the early indications that uh, we in the community are not going to like this uh, proposal. We love the building, and uh, it's, it's a unique building that uh, arcades below there, the uh, dental work on the facades, the stonework. Uh, there's, there's not another building in San Diego like it. Thank you.